Mysterious Clown Shoes Today's story is provided by Tian and netizen Ning Li. In order to avoid friends calling her Ning Shun Ma all the time during the reading process, it is specially explained here that this character is pronounced Li and family. A famous scholar who returned to Taihu Lake with a great beauty Sai Shi during the Warring States period is this word. At first glance, I felt that this chic screen name was very elegant. Ning Li has encountered many supernatural events when she was young. And her grandmother said that it may be because the eight characters are too light. When Ning Li was three or four years old, he lived with his parents in the city where they worked for half a year. At that time, Ning Li's mother bought her a string of wind chimes and hung them on the window to relieve her boredom. In Ning Li's impression, all kinds of supernatural events began to follow one after another from that time. Now that I think about it, Ning Li's parents are really big. And they actually left her three or four years old at home alone and went to work to make money. At that time, Ning Li's family rented a school. And the apartment was located on the upper floor of the school's sports equipment. During that carefree childhood, Ning Li was free range on campus all day. Her parents took care of the school's janitor. As long as they didn't let her run out of the school. The lively and active Ning Li often catches ants alone. Picks flowers, steals pomegranates. And conducts various repertoire programs that bear children like to see. And when the sun is big at noon, she will go back to the rented house to sleep. The exterior wall of the apartment. Where Ning Li lived was surrounded by rampant creepers. And it was cool and pleasant in summer. And there were four-legged snakes jumping on the old stairs in the shade. Which frightened Ning Li and screamed in fear. She was a little scared of geckos at the time. Ning Li, who returned to the apartment, often lay on the bed alone. Rolling around, and was extremely bored. The summer afternoon is sunny and windless. But the string of wind chimes hanging in front of the window always tinkles and tinks. As if it is very windy outside. At that time, Ning Li was still young, ignorant, and not afraid, so he played by himself and sank into a long and lazy summer dream. On an ordinary afternoon, Ning Li woke up from a nap, got up in a daze and was about to go out to play crazy. She hooked her little feet to look at the ground, and instantly sleepy and her eyes lit up. Her favorite pair of small slippers actually became three. And she slept for a while, and there was an extra shoe for no reason. Ning Li not only didn't feel scared at that time, but also felt a little crooked and unbelievable. She rubbed her sleepy eyes, which were still hanging on there, and looked at it again, no, no, not three, but four. There are two pairs of slippers on the ground. At this time, Xiao Ning Li was overjoyed. And she was as witty as she immediately hid the extra pair of slippers under the bed. And waited for her mother to come home from work. And ask her how she was? Surprised, surprised? Ning Li's parents just got off work and entered the door at night. And Ning Li couldn't wait to pull them to the bedside. And said with flying eyebrows, Mom and Dad, I have another pair of identical little slippers, don't believe you tell them. Her parents poked their heads under the bed of Hei Gulangdong suspiciously and looked carefully for a long time, where is there any shadow of slippers? Mom and Dad thought Ning Li was playing tricks on them and criticized her harshly. Ning Li was aggrieved and unconvinced, digging three feet into the bed and even lifting the mattress. But he couldn't find the extra pair of small slippers. It was as if it had come out of noon, and it had mysteriously disappeared. Ning Li's parents saw that she didn't look like she was lying and playing tricks on people. So they thought that she was lost in her afternoon nap and mistook the dream for reality. Ning Li couldn't argue, so he had to give up. Who knew that since then, Ning Li always has one less slipper when he gets up at night. Tossing and turning, I can't find it all over and below the bed. Every time her parents woke up and looked at it, 
The slippers were impressively placed at the head of the bed. Ming Li still can't figure out why he can't see the shoe back. And forth as if he was blindfolded by a ghost. The same situation has happened again since then. Ming Li went to play at his friend's house. And the two dragged their shoes together and frolicked on the sofa. When they were having a good time, there was a commotion downstairs. And Ming Li and his friends lay on the windowsill to watch the excitement for a while. It was only a few minutes before and after. And when I looked at the shoes under the sofa, there was one more. Ming Li was pleasantly surprised, pulled his little friend and said. Look at it. I have one more shoes. The little friend also saw it and said. Show me the extra shoes. She took the shoe in her hand and played with it again and again. And said, it's really the same as your original pair. Then put it back on the ground. And the two continue to watch the excitement outside the window. Just then my friend's grandfather returned. And the two of them scrambled to tell her grandfather that he had an extra shoe. Grandpa searched around for a long time. And asked inexplicably where is it? Ming Li and the others were also stunned. The third shoe that was still under the sofa just now was once again impossible to find at this moment. Since then, there have been no supernatural incidents about shoes. And the only sequelae is that Ning Li still likes shoes very much. And has been buying and buying for many years. And the shoe cabinet is full of her love shoes. The clone shoe incident has been in Ning Li's memory. And cannot be erased, and there is still no solution. And it is a brain-opening joke among relatives. I think it's not necessarily ghosts that are haunting in this incident. But rather non-human beings like spirits. Who have no malice and just want to play a joke on this little girl who loves shoes. Which is strange and mysterious and full of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and put notification on to watch more videos. If you have similar experience, please comment and let me know your experience.